In this video tutorial, I'm gonna share with you how to easily and quickly create your very own multiplication table to use as a reference for your students. You'll learn how to set up your page, set up your table, insert the text, and get creative by choosing the color theme that you want for your table or chart. Let's get started. After you open up Google Slides, this is what you'll see. We're going to format the page a little bit to fit our needs. So let's get rid of the themes over here. Go to File, down to Page Setup to change the layout of our page. Click on Custom and change your dimensions to 8.5 by 11. Next, go up to Layout, then choose Blank Slide. Now let's insert our table. Go to your ribbon, click on insert, go down to table. With this multiplication table, our two highest factors are going to be 12 and 12. So we need a grid that's 12 by 12. However, we should include labels for our factors in our rows and our factors in our columns. So we're going to do a grid that's 13 by 13. So you wanna hover over this section next to table to, until you find your dimensions. So we want 13 rows and 13 columns. With our table now inserted, we're going to zoom in just a little bit more, go up to view, go to zoom, and then click on 100 so we can get even closer into our table. Now let's format what goes on inside of the table. Let's highlight the table, choose the font that you want, the text size that you want, and your text alignment. Now we're ready to insert text. Because this is a multiplication table, I'm going to type in an X so that students know that they are multiplying their factors. Next, across this first row, we're going to type in the numbers one through 12. Then we'll do the same thing for the column, type in the numbers one through 12. These will represent the factors that are being multiplied to get each product. Before I fill in the remainder of the table, I'm gonna actually start with the 12s because it gets into three digit numbers with the larger factors. Let's make sure all of the digits fit nicely inside of each cell without running over. We can see here that with our three digit numbers, our text is running over. So what we're going to do is adjust the size of the cells one more time, highlight the table, go up to your ribbon, click on format, then go down to format options. Then over on the right, choose size and rotation. We're going to increase the size of the width to 7.5 and increase the size of the height to 7.5. Let's do the same thing for the columns going down and make sure everything fits. Now we can see that everything fits in just right. So next let's go ahead and fill in the remainder of the table with the rest of our products. You can skip ahead to the end to the finished product here or watch as I fill in the remainder of the table. Once your table's filled in, you definitely wanna go through and make sure that you didn't make any typing errors so that students don't make any mistakes when they are using the table to multiply. And here's the part where you can be creative with your table or chart by choosing the color scheme that you want for your table or chart. With this table, let's use like a back to school early fall theme using reds and greens, colors usually associated with the classroom and school supplies. 
To change the colors of the cells in the tables, you want to highlight the cells that you want to change the color for. Go up to your ribbon, choose the icon that shows fill color. Then choose the color of your choice. Repeat the same steps for each of the cells that you want to change the color for. You can also adjust the thickness and colors of your borders. Highlight the borders, go back to your ribbon and choose border weight and border color. Get creative and have fun with it just like we do with all of our math resources that we create here on this channel, Math Bell. Let's add a text box to add in a title for the page and then change the color for that as well. The same process can be used to create an addition table for students who need to reference your addition facts. Your very next step is to complete this checklist and I will see you in the next video.